Hi Aquarius, welcome to your tarot readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is going to be your December 2021 tarot reading using the Gilded. So, I don't know if you, how many of you have checked out my posts that I've been posting. I'm throwing a Christmas party on face on YouTube, December 23rd, right here, YouTube. And it's going to be $30 for a six-card reading, which would typically, if you look at my website, is $45. But I'm giving my subscribers a gift. So, if you want to get in on it, Go over to pay. Go over to the to the community tab. Click on the Patreon, 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 um, PayPal me link and pay the thirty dollars. Put your question, your astrological sign, in the in PayPal. Ask your question. You know if it's if it's love related, your sign, his sign sign whoever signed it is okay Aquarius oh and as I've been talking about you your cards are just flowing so nice December 2021 Aquarius your cards The star. That's you're out first. Wow, that's beautiful. The chariot, son of Cancer. Did not expect that. Eight of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Hangman. Ace of Swords. Uh, Nine of Swords. Aquarius. Come on. Two of Cups. Okay, your overall energy for the month. I am so sick and tired of this two of damn pentacles. It is it has been out. I think you guys are my seventh my seventh reading. It's been out for every sign. Like every single sign. King of Swords for my men. I mean, some of you are from my females. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, men. You know, with the King of Swords is like very sharp. He pays attention to detail. Very thorough. Two of Pentacles, you have a lot of shit going on, Aquarius. Like, like juggling those <sighs> juggling those of you that have a very important decision that needs to be made. I mean, really, it needs to be made. It's important, and you know, with the king of with the king of pentacles, 
and the Two of Swords, I mean, I just feel like you, like you are serious, like very serious about making a decision, but you know, it's starting out with the star. I mean, this is a very powerful, spiritual, divine timing, healing energy. If a relationship is important, important decision about a relationship, we're trying to make a decision, you know, with the chariot, like something's definitely empowered. gonna right, make the right decision I mean you know you go down whatever path you want you know where do you want to go what's going to work best for you you know with the chariot you're in the driver's seat the star moving forward toward right toward Aquarius your your dreams your wishes and you have faith with the direction that you're moving in you know, I do see something very positive really here for you, Aquarius. Even if even if you have to to wait, because you do have the damn hangman. But it is a temporary wait. You know, support for you is Like you're you're in such suspense that you're waiting for a decision to come through. It's coming. It is it's a very temporary energy. But you have two cards of victory. You know, chariot is the ultimate victory and I mean card. Ace of Swords, you know, you went through what you had to go through, but that's you know, it's you persevering. You are definitely waiting on a decision to come through. It's coming. It, it, it's a very temporary energy. You know, the chariot is, is the ultimate victory card. Ace of Swords, you know, you went through what you had to go through. And, and it is you persevering. It's your perseverance paying off. Like, there's a lot of victory. I think, you know, you definitely might have, like, had to had to wait a little while. But for some of you, I strongly feel it is you moving down this path. It's the path that, Aquarius, that you want to move down. It's a path of success. You're the first card out. That's important. You're the first card out. So, I mean... You're getting your wishes and dreams coming true. I definitely feel that. And you're moving in a very good direction. Others of you... You, you had to kind of overcome a lot to finally get here. You know, to move in the direction that you want to be in. Some of you might have had to sacrifice... To be where you are with the Nine of Swords, you really need to try to stay out of your head. I mean, try not to overthink things, especially you know, those of you that, you know, have a lot going on. You know, you're juggling your Ten of Pentacles. Something's going on with family, but, but you also have the Two of Cups. So, with the Ten of, of Pentacles, a relationship is, is, is very significant for some of you. It could be family, relationship. You know, try to find time to spend with family, friends. Those of you that are coupled, 
I think you're, you both could have been waiting on a decision, waiting to move to a new home, waiting for documents to be signed, something like that. Like, like exciting, fast movement, communication that's absolutely coming in. When this news finally comes in, it's going to happen, bam, really fast. I mean, it's going to happen fast. I mean, absolutely, when you least expect it, Aquarius. You know, you could be doing something with, with family, friends, and totally out of the blue. You know, you receive a text message or an email. Um, gosh, try try to keep my hands away from the, the cards. Um, a text message or an email when you least expect it. I mean, something like that is going to come in. Again, when you least expect it. Those of you that have, like, family and you're moving house and with the family, those of you that are coupled, you could be moving in together. You could be purchasing a house together. But staying with someone's family while you're doing that. Maybe you're waiting for those documents to be signed. Exciting good news is on the way. And it's coming in fast. Those of you that have anything going on with property... Assets, things like that. With the Chariot, Ace of Swords. I mean, I see that as good news, success. And that's exactly what it is. It's good news and success. Right under each other. It's a beautiful outcome here. It is beautiful. It really is. I want to see. Alright, so this is the After Tarot. It's what comes next. Um, it's what I use, like, uh, Facebook's weekly readings, your weekly readings. I'm going to, definitely you'll see me Monday, but anybody that's had a reading, you know, I know some people like to be quiet, give their identity secret. I understand that, but you're going to help other people too. You know, the reading was amazing. The deck was amazing. Whatever. However you want to say it is, is fine with me. But um, I would love that, really. Whoever does it, I would love that. I mean, it's not like your husband watches tarot card readers, right? Okay, come on. Seriously, what is this Nine of Swords going to bring to Aquarius? Nine of Swords. Alright, that's the one. Um, Knight of Cups. A loving offer, proposal. That is definitely coming back from the past. you're waiting on someone from the past they're absolutely coming back and you could be stressed over having to wait maybe it's been a while let's see what that hangman is <laughs> the nine of cups you have the nine of cups on the star a while the hermit and the eight of swords someone's helping you and look at the star. Ah. It's right here. Right. There's the star. Could you see it? You already have the star card. This person's helping you. It could be your grandfather. I mean, I th you know, he's definitely cutting you free. You have help. With getting out of your head. I mean, the eight and the nine of swords. Come on, Aquarius. 
everything you want. Someone's giving you. It could be a cancer. I mean, it could even be another Aquarius. I mean, like I said, clarity is coming in. And I see that with the hangman. And you're definitely being freed. And you have both wish cards. Like, that, that, that crap don't happen. But is it for you? I'm very happy. If you're waiting on someone from the past, they're coming. Definitely. And the night of this card was the one that flipped out first. And the other two just flipped with it. Under it. Great reading, Aquarius. Really, I love you guys. Hope to see some of you at the Christmas party, December 23rd at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye.